Hi, this is Andrew with Baker's Gas, and I'm here today with the all-new Multimatic 215 Pro by Miller Electric. So I got my unit in, uh, my new demo unit. In this video, we're going to weld with it. We're going to go through all the features that are on this unit um, and some of the new upgrades. So there is the Multimatic 215. Now the 215 Pro takes that to place, brand new to the market. And uh, so let's just jump right into some of its features. So one of the things I want to point out is the old 215 came with a 10-foot gun. And the new one, the Pro, comes with a 15-foot gun. So, five-foot longer gun, uh, that's what people wanted, so that's what Miller put in the package. Pretty awesome. You can also get a wireless foot pedal for this unit, so a TIG kit, because um, this thing will do stick, MIG, TIG, flux core, and a spool gun. And you can get a wireless foot pedal kit for it, uh, which those are awesome, no cord, super easy to set up, plug it in, put the batteries in, it's ready to take well up to 25 feet from the machine. So right now we got it on auto set, but I got my process button, wire diameter, and material gauge thickness. So if I hit process, we're in MIG, we're in flux core, TIG, stick. We can go up, we'll go into MIG here, and then it just gives us a set range of parameters. So I can shut auto set off, or I can turn it on, and I can just tell it what size wire I got, 030, and then what material gauge thickness, so 24 gauge, all the way up to 3 8 So this little unit has 215 amps of power. Um, awesome output for that size of machine. It's small, it's lightweight, very, very portable. Duty cycle on it is a 60% duty cycle at 22 volts, and that's on 220 output. Um, so this will do 110, 220, and I'll show you here where the adapter is. So if I open the side door, you got a nice chart here, gives you all your parameters, so if you don't, want to you know use auto set or whatever you can just come through here tell it what you're doing and bam set it up the machine the way um, it'll fit an 11 pound spool or a two pound spool and then here's your 110 220 adapter so I got it plugged in the 220 that's the 110 just got a little cap on there this is a big change up here putting this up here they used to have a little velcro system didn't work out so well um, I mean it did work but this is much nicer keeps it in that spot and you can see on the back here there's a USB port right here. So if this machine in the future ever needs an update, you can go on to millerwelds.com or reach out to bayersgas.com and we can get you the new update for this machine. So it's just future proof, right? So if something comes out later on, we can upgrade it and it'll change the interface on it. Um, we got one drive roller and it does three different things. So 023, 030, 035, and then the flux core. Got our MIG gun plugged in. Pretty super similar, I mean, very similar to the old 215. Um, and then on the back, you can see, we'll that door. I got two gas ports, so TIG, and then MIG, and my spool gun. So two gas solenoids. So you could essentially leave your argon hooked up and your 7525 hooked up, and then you wouldn't have to flip flop gas ports or regulators or anything like that. It does only come with one regulator. It comes with a gas hose, regulator, ground clamp, stinger for stick welding, uh, obviously your MIG gun, everything like that. Well, let me get the wire in here and we'll give this thing a shot and see how it welds. All right, so I got my wire in, got my gear on here. Um, I'm gonna set this machine up. So we got the process, obviously we're gonna MIG weld, go into that. We got 030 wire. And then the material, this is where we're gonna go up a little bit. We got some three sixteenths. So now it gives me 20 volts at 340 inches a minute. Um, I got my gas turned on and uh, we're just going to use auto set. Uh, see how this thing welds out. So I got 030 wire, 7525 gas on some three sixteenths here. Let's give it a shot. Very crisp dark, um, very, very, that smooth start function on these new units. So it's got that smooth start, smooth arc. Uh, so no go down, pebble and come back, hit your tip or anything like that. So that's the new technology on this unit as well. Um, welder really nice. I like that 15 foot gun, uh, a little bit longer reach. So if you're in your garage or something, you might not have to move that machine around as much. Um, 
So one thing though I do like about this is honestly we can keep our our bottles hooked up to the back. So and then you can also go in and let's just say I want a stick weld now. It's gonna tell us the flip flopper leads. It's gonna go right in there. So it's gonna give us an alert. We're gonna hit OK. The only alert was because we didn't have our ground and our power cable hooked up correctly. Uh, but just to show you, it's very easy. You can leave your MIG gun in, you just unhook these, switch your ground and your power cable, and then everything, you can just put your stick, stick uh, electrode holder in there, and boom, you can go right into stick welding. Just pick your material thickness, basically. We'll go right to 3 16 Gives us 90 amps on uh, 330 second electrode on 6011. So we can change all those two as well, which is pretty cool. So we got, we want stick. We're going to go on an electrode size, so 3 through second, 8th inch, 532. Let's just go back to process here real quick. I'll show you 6013 and 7018. So notice there is no 6010 setting because this machine doesn't have enough OCV to run 6010. So you got to run 6011, 6013, but it will run 7018 as well. So pretty awesome. We're going to go back up to MIG. Everything should be hooked up correctly. There we go. Right back into it. So pretty awesome welder. Um, like I said, Newer technology, uh, some nicer features updating the old 215 to the new Multimax 215 Pro. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more.